Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're in the year 2024. And in this video, we're going to tell you the top 10 things you need to leave behind in 2023. Because it's a new year, new self. Let's get ourselves fucking rolling. Get ourselves into a new groove of life. I'm tired of people bringing old shit back to the new days. So first thing we need to get rid of as we go into 2024 is red pill content. I'm fucking sick of fresh and fit. I'm fucking sick of all these mantle spears. Dom is sharp. All these niggas get everybody that's in the red spill, the red pill, the mana spear, uh, the Andrew Tates, the Jordan Whaler. Get all these motherfuckers out the paint. I can't take any more of it. No more red pill content. Because now the young boys have found out about the red pill. And now every fucking dude is a fucking uh, masculinity genu- uh, guru. You need to work out and you need to hold and make money and don't trust these women and just have sex and be a party boy forever. Why? Like, can we just stop that shit, man? I'm fucking sick of the red pill shit. So, yeah, please, people, leave the red pill content and start embracing the you pill content. What Apex Apex is pretty much spinning. Just be yourself. Learn how to be yourself, and you don't need all these gay ass pills anyway. Number two, things we need to leave in 2023 work from home jobs. Brothers, you are a man. Go touch grass. Repeat this one more time. Go touch grass. Working from home is one of the worst things you can do as a man to do to yourself. Because trust me, here's the thing. Your woman, if you got a girl, she doesn't want to see you at the crib all day. She wants to see you fucking out and doing shit and going about life and just being a man. Because she's in the crib. So if you're in the crib all day, she's wondering, what the fuck is this nigga doing that he gets to be in the house all day? You need to be out. Even if your job is not a laborer's job, just be outside. Just leave. Just get the fuck out. Because it makes her respect you because then she can wonder. What is he doing? I wonder where he at. No, no, no. They need that fucking mystery. If you just sit in the fucking house on the computer, <laughs> if you're doing some real heavyweight shit, like you're selling a million dollars worth of trades, you just look like a nerd. So get the fuck out the crib, go outside and go work. Next thing we got to leave is bodybuilding, the bodybuilding community. Liver King, Sam Sulek, all these guys, Joey, uh, whatever his name is, Joey Bananas, the guy that died, uh, Larry Wills, get these fuckers out of the paint. No more bodybuilding guys. See, the bodybuilding community has long overdue been just they've been killing young people, killing people's ability to fucking get in shape, people's ability to be fucking healthy because they keep preaching this idea that for some reason you need to go out in the world and fucking lift a whole lot of weight. And there's no point. You need to be lean, green and a fighting machine. nigga. You need to look like a fucking George St. Pierre. You need to look like somebody that can really run. And handle people that has hands. Not look like a fucking overstuffed uh, action figure. It's fucking weird. I don't know why people are doing it. But uh, yeah, cancel bodybuilding, please. Cancel that shit. Number four, cancel boxing as a legitimate sport. After the Tyson Fury and uh, Francis Ngannou fight, I am no longer believing in boxing as a real sport. Boxing is no longer considered something that should be brought into 2024. It's not real. Fake combat, fake striking. I'm almost positive we got most UFC fighters and put them into a combat ring with boxing gloves. Almost positive. I think most MMA fighters could beat these boxers. Because for some reason, we saw the greatest of all time in Floyd Mayweather and the greatest of all time in heavyweight in Tyson Fury. Both get taken to the brink. Both lose rounds to regular MMA fighters. So what happens if a guy who's not the best all time in boxing fights a striker in MMA? I got to go with the MMA guy based off the math. It doesn't make any sense. A lot of these boxing fans are coping. I I, I don't like dealing with boxing fans because they don't live in reality. Before they, 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 I had somebody tell me Muhammad Ali is the greatest boxer all the time. I'm like, what are you talking about? How is Muhammad Ali the greatest? Lennox Lewis, t- uh, Mike Tyson, Tyson Fury, Deontay Water. I think they all would have smoked uh, Muhammad Ali. He was, two, he was 200 pounds. I don't get that shit out of my face. What are we talking about? 6'2", 200 pounds? Who's he beating? That's a 300-pound heavyweight almost. That's crazy. Francis Nagano would have wiped the floor of Muhammad Ali. But anyway, uh, yeah, get boxing out the paint. We don't need no more boxing. Boxing has no point in being a legitimate sport in 2024. Last, number five, we need to get rid of rap culture in the rap community and possibly just get rid of the black community altogether. We got to just not bring them with us to 2024. See, look, as a man of the logical, straight-thinking black male, I can no longer condone rap music and um, black community. The behaviors is too out of pocket. I, I refuse to be aligned or uh, 
included within this group of people that I share no other common values with. And this, I'm not saying this for all black people, but I'm saying majority of them, it be on some bullshit. It be on some absolute bullshit. Fuck your baby daddy. That's not what I support in this fucking particular age. I think you support support your baby daddy. And the baby daddy shouldn't be your baby daddy. It should be your husband. It's a goddamn shame that we have baby daddy as a common vernacular in the black community. That's the only community that has that fucking common vernacular is baby daddy. You see more baby daddies as opposed to husbands. I can say, I gotta say, you say fuck my husband, but fuck my baby daddy. That's, that's very sad. Very sad and very uh, disappointing, disheartening in the black community. So we are leaving rap music behind in 2024. No more rap music. I refuse to I refuse to participate in such savagery.